just a, um, that. This is the, um, we just changed out the motors to the MT2216 motors. Uh, they are 810 um, kilowatt motors. So we are testing it out for, for performance, low amperage draws, and quietness. And I noticed uh, after changing the motors from the uh, OME motors on the Solo to these new motors, it, it has lowered the sound down. I don't have a decimal meter to test it, but it definitely is a big difference in the quality of the sound. Performance-wise, it seems um, uh, it's got a little bit more accuracy, but it's also got a smoother flight. And I'm using the uh, Master Screw uh, props on here right now, uh, and it sounds much better. And performance-wise, you'll kind of see, I'm just gonna kind of do a little quick flight. I'm not pushing it because I'm testing this battery. It's kind of a, a recalibrated battery to test it. Whoops, the camera just went out. You can tell the sound is much, much quieter. If I bring it up, um, you can definitely, over 100 feet, when you're probably maybe about 100, 200 feet away from you, uh, you can, it kind of, it definitely made a big difference in the quality, the quality of the sound. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera back on. distance here so you notice it's gotten quieter much quieter than the uh, OME motors I'm pretty impressed with these here oh I lost it huh there you go I got it trying to now zoom in so I can get and so um, what I'll do is this is just a video on the sound quality and then I'll have to show you how I changed the motors out um, on how I did it to replace these motors I think I had one problem with it, with probably one of the motors when uh, we take it to high speed on um, on sport mode, that the image would start fluctuating from the bottom. I think one of my ESCs might have been bad on my other motors. Um, these pods that I have right here came off of one of my uh, Solo 3 that I use for parts. So I still have the original pods that came off of this quad. I call this one, uh, actually this is Solo 3, it was Solo 1. I took it off. And yeah, there's definitely a difference in the quietness. What happens when you lower the KV on the motors, you will get, uh, it's not made for like super speed, but it does also give you um, more uh, thrust or torque for lift. Uh, I'm not looking to lift anything super heavy. I'm really like, trying to do is just lower the amperage down on my flight time to increase my battery flight time. Um, so far, I'm looking at amperage draws right now. Usually on hover, you're about 19 to 20. This is pulling about 15 uh, amps. Now, if I'm flying it, if I'm flying it at uh, 12 miles an hour, uh, my amp draws are like 13, 10, 12, really low. So that means if I fly it at that speed, I can get more flight time out of it camera went out again. I'm going to have to reset my GoPro. It's the GoPro 3. For seven minutes and we're still, the battery uh, from doing the recalibration, uh, it seems to kind of work. Let's see how long it'll do that. But, uh, had a problem with this battery here. This is a battery I just got from, I think from March, and it went bad quick. I did the recalibration on it. It's the second time I did it, but this time I really um, drained it down to about 12 volts. 
and then uh, I ran a charge on it and so far and plus with these motors it does help keep the amperage down draw much lower in flight time I'm really pleased with the performance on these motors um, and I haven't put them on my uh, quad 2 which is solo tube which has the gimbal on it uh, until I make a, a thorough testing on this one here without the gimbal and so far I'm uh, I'm very pleased with the performance on it all right I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out my flight and uh, see how long we get on this battery plus you can kind of hear uh, okay we're gonna be running really short on the amperage we're getting close it shows 52 percent battery and you can see the stableness of the uh, pretty good satellite lock-in I'm about I got 14 satellites now and the camera just keeps going out definitely because the GoPro I think I got to set it to back to the default resettings apparently is something wrong because it it'll run for a little bit and then it'll shut off and it's not set on a timer to shut off so it must be a glitch in the software definitely much quieter much more smoother corrected the battery I was only getting like eight minutes out of it but because of the low amperage draws on this uh, on these motors I think I'm getting better flight time on it and so far this proves it right here really pleased with these motors I had these motors on my Hercules 2 drone if you've seen one of my videos uh, on my Hercules 2 that's where I took these motors off uh, just to see how it would be on the solo and um, they fit perfectly Damn Awesome What do you think youtubers? This is awesome. Altitude 17.75 feet. Alright, we're getting the life out of these batteries like I was looking forward to. I checked the uh, the milliamp hours after doing the recalibration and usually of course when you get these batteries new they're 5200. Um, I got out of this battery, I got 5044 milliamps out of it after doing the recalibration. Last time I only had 44. Alright, so now it's at 25%. And uh, I'm going to be landing it in a minute. So far, I'm very pleased with the battery time. Well, actually, for this type of battery, for the age of it. But uh, so far, it's doing great. We're going to go ahead and land it now. <laughs> 